Alejandro Zare. We're today we're jumping into the Sandman. This is season one, episode eleven. This must be the bonus content that I've kept be hearing about. That's a mess of what I was saying. Um, so we're jumping into this a bonus uh, episode. I'm assuming this has nothing to do with the main storyline. Maybe it's just like a side story that we're going to be getting into. It's going to be one or done. You want to know what I heard? That's one of the most disturbing uh, news that I heard about the show is that is possible possible very possible that it might not have a season two i heard it i definitely heard it i heard that the budget for this show was so much money and the viewership didn't match what they were the expectations was of the show although it did really well it wasn't what i believe netflix um really wanted it to hit hit the mark maybe because you know this is a streaming service that it, it went on that maybe they didn't get the subscribers like the subscriber count that they were looking for maybe you know there's a whole different aspect of when it deals with streaming services other than like a big screen or something like that so i'm assuming that streaming services look for certain things not just viewerships but subscriptions and uh if people are you know obviously joining the, the their streaming service and it seems as it didn't hit the mark of what they were looking for, expecting. Um, so they might not green light a season two. And from what I hear, the longer that it's not green, that it was, it's not announced that there's going to be a season two of the Sandman, it would be the higher probability of it not happening. So I hope that what I heard is not true because this show, by far, was one of my favorite shows to watch. The Sandman, The Wheel of time um both of those shows was just like drawing to i got it captivated me so and the acting in here is amazing so i really do hope that um they do green light uh season two of the sad man if you guys have heard anything different from what i heard that maybe you guys maybe somebody out there has heard that it was green lit already or whatever the case in scenario is if you guys have heard something different comment down below i would love to see what you guys say but for right now very recent maybe i think like a week and a half ago i heard this um from somebody very reliable that's what I heard, and I was, I was <gasps> shocked and appalled. But anyway, so I guess this is a bonus episode, like I said, that has nothing to do with the regular show. But this content will be available for all of my Patreon as well as my YouTube members. Um, so guys, for everybody who signed up on all three tiers of those platforms, thank you for signing up, and you guys will be able to see this in full reaction. Um, to those that have not signed up yet to help support this channel, why the hell not? <laughs> Plus, I believe all the other Sandman reactions um, will be full. I think the first episode, and maybe the last episode, was full reactions for uh, all my channel members, as well as my Patreon members, but um, the rest of them were for the second and third tier. So, um, guys, definitely if you would like to see full reactions, join the channel or join my Patreon and you guys can see that today. So, with that being said, guys, let's jump into the Sandman and find out exactly what the Sandman has got to give. Come on, darling. Come to bed. Is that a cat? Good night, Fluffle. The Fluffle. It's tonight. Are you coming? Should be amusing, if nothing else. A clear hole is partly open. You can get out through there. Shake your tail, little one. We mustn't miss this. They have to work on the landing. Uh, Come on. What will she be like? Who knows? Not this cat. We're going to see her. Me too. I want to hear what she has to say. Catwoman? <laughs> Sisters, brothers, good hunting. When I have finished, you will all share my dream. Once, like many of you, I lived in their world. I fooled myself. Fooled yourself? He was strong and fast. I never saw him again, but I did not forget him. You knew she was in the heat. Why didn't you keep her inside? These are half-breeds. Oh. They're not worth anything. What are you gonna do with that? Don't worry. I felt them from afar, in the dark. 
as the cold water took them. Felt them call to me in their fear. And then they were gone. Oh, that's horrible. I mean, look at that. We lived with humanity. We could not call ourselves free. Pray to the king of cats, he who walks amongst us. And I dreamed. Why have you come here, little cat? To the heart of the dreaming. Justice is a delusion, a relation. That is the province of dream. A little cat could come to much harm if she strays from the path. I walked through the wood of ghosts, where the dead and lost whispered to me. I heard my children calling me. But I walked forward. I walked through the darkness, through the void. Even when I no longer knew why, I walked forward. I have come to see the cat of dreams. Cat of dreams. Should he be disturbed for one such as you? I will state my business to the one I came to see, and only to him. Enter then, proud cat. Dreams have a price. And who are you? Uh. A cat. I want to know. Why could they take my children from me? That's my look at a king, or so they say. Look into my eyes then, little sister. Look into my eyes. His eyes? I saw everything. It transcended anything I had imagined. What's the truth? We're larger than everything made for us. Oh. Moon shone full. We would hunt them. The game of cat and man. Dreams shape the world. Dreams create the world anew. Every night, dream of a new world. A world where we are no longer hunted. Will happen. Dreams shape the world. One night, enough of them dreamed. Things changed. We were prey to them, to dogs, their metal machines. We dreamed the world so it was always the way it is now. There was never a world where cats reigned. Then you know what your task must be, the burden you must bear. Then wake, child. I had seen the soft underbelly of what he had shown me. I have preached to feral cats in empty places, shouting my message to the star. Enough of us dream, a bare thousand. We can dream a world where no cat suffers. Shall keep moving, repeating it until I die. And we come again to paradise. I believe. Then there is hope, child. He was amusing at least. I'll say that for her. Fit God or King. Persuade a thousand cats to do anything at the same time. Oh, look, she's still asleep. The way she's twitching, she's probably hunting something. Hmm, look at her. The character has to come first. Hi! Every fraught, meaningful silence. Do you have any advice for those of us who are just starting out? Sad to report that I've been doing this for a very long time and it doesn't get any easier. My debut novel was rejected by seven publishers before it became a bestseller. Right, that's it for today. Did you get it? Ticks I'm doing, but... Gel? <laughs> it's, um, it's perfect. Thank you. How far a writer like you will go when it comes to research? I actually wanted to be a writer but my parents insisted I have something to fall back on. You're better off. I promise. Oh! Probably would have been incinerated anyway. Um, just don't tell anyone where you got it. Would you sign this for me? Any idea when the new book is coming out? You will definitely be in the acknowledgements. Who is it? Richard Maddock. To see Erasmus Fry. Come. Oh. Mm. Wasn't he on Doctor Who too? Was he the master? You written anything? Profound and stirring recently. I haven't written a single word in a year. Nothing I haven't thrown away. Darn, dear boy. Oh, Trichino Bezua. A what? Do you know about the Rapunzel syndrome, it's called? It was once believed to possess mystic powers. Old writer with no one to talk to grows fond of the sound of his own voice. Researching yet another novel I was sure to abandon discovered a trove of ancient texts, muses, and how to control them. What would you with me now, Erasmus? Is this man to be our audience? Yuck. Sees Calliope, the youngest of the nine sisters. She was Homer's muse. Calliope, I'm giving you to Richard. But you said that you would free me before you died. Writers are liars, my dear. 
she's bound to you now, just as she was once bound to me. I, I don't know if I can do this. I found force most efficacious. She's thousands of years old. She was created for this. This is her purpose. She gave me fame. If that's true, why would you? My time is past. Nobody reads Erasmus Fry anymore. You might persuade your publisher to bring Here Comes a Candle back into print. Gee, she's an old jerk. <laughs> I just need time to think about what to do. I am not a possession to be kept and used and traded. You have only to say the words. I will, I promise. Do you think you could help me? Just for one book and then I will let you go, I swear I will. Just one book. One's gonna turn into many. I choose with whom I share my gifts. Perhaps we both need time to think. That's horrible. You seek to woo me with presents? An artist prays to the muses. He offers vows of service and devotion to the goddess. You gave Erasmus Fry what he wanted. I did not. He took it from me. I lay my scroll upon the shore. He found it there. He read it. Calliope, you may call me master. May the words that I may be as free as you are. The advance for this book, two years ago. I haven't even started it yet. I'm drowning, Calliope. This is only for what he wants. I am begging you. Ask me again, when I am free. You better be fucking right, thing. I just need a couple of weeks. It's nine months overdue. You've taken your time, you've also taken their money. Or well, they're gonna cancel the deal and demand the advance back. Because you'll no longer be my client. Don't be fooled, she's not human. This is her purpose, to inspire men like us. I'll send you something. Mother of the Kamen, hear my prayer. Liabe that calls you to deliver me from this place. Hearken to me. All right. Enough. Feel your pain, daughter, but we cannot help you. You were snared upon Helicon according to the mysteries. There's nothing you can do. Many gods have died, my daughter. Only the Endless never fade. All the Dream King and Calliope were close at one point. Mm. She did bear his cup. That boy child who went to Hades on a part for his sacrilege. He will never help me. Not after what I did to him. Oniris is in no position to help you, even if he wished it. He's immured beneath the ground. Oh. Even this realm gripped by a sleeping sickness. There's nothing we can do for you. Please, please don't leave me here. Wow, it's so she's nice. in prison and so is he. I really need a new agent. Tell her to call me. Sure, well, <laughs> it's in the genre. Have you read it? No. Of course not. Why has he gone and changed his name? How do you mean? From Richard to Rip. I think it probably speaks to the author's pretension. Fashionable at the moment to say that only women can write authentically about the female experience. Do you tend to regard myself as a feminist writer? Where does that voice come from in you? Lady upstairs. <laughs> from the women in my life. The studio have hired me a private jet, so we shouldn't have any trouble getting you into the country. Maybe we will decide? We are telling stories that inspire people. Sister goddesses and I were born. We were not made. Sorry, it's Larry. And then we need to publicize it so they can't back out of it when it comes to hiring people. Wake's up. Oh, um, what's her name? Are you fucking kidding me? One girl. I call to you, Oniros. That you may hear me and to my aid when I say your name out loud. What does it mean? It is the name of the god of dreams. You're writing him a letter. Something like that. You're mine. Men. No. Babes! Thank you. 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 Thank you.
thank you for agreeing to do this interview at your home. I wouldn't even be a writer if it wasn't for having read people like Shirley Jackson. Hmm. Sorry, did you say the late Erasmus Fry? He died? Last summer. Did he die of old age? No. He actually poisoned himself. Begging them to bring one of his books back into print. Uh, Here comes a candle. It was perhaps my favourite book when I was growing up. Poor old sod. Not that you'll have to worry about that. You're Richard Maddock. Oh, sorry, Rick Maddock. He's here. You came. They told me you had been in prison. Just like me. My suffering was nothing compared to yours. But don't say that. Bearing our suffering only compounds it. It pained me to hear of your misfortune. I know that you cannot free me. Perhaps you might inspire him. Even his death would not bring back what he has taken from me. Just a man. I cannot allow him to go free. Oh. Why? The last time I saw you, you said you would never speak to me again. When I heard you call to me, even after all this time, let me help you. Oh, I just want to cry. I'm sorry. <laughs> God, I'm getting goosebumps low. What will you do to him? Oh. I'll be destroy them! <laughs> Get out of my house. Be quiet. I have come to request that you set her free. Know who I am? I know precisely who and what you are, Richard Maddock. Do not call any human agency. Just let her go. I didn't have her. I wouldn't be able to write. I wouldn't have ideas. Horrible. She's been held captive for more than 60 years. Will not set her free because you need ideas. If it's ideas you want, then you shall have them in abundance. <laughs> Are you giving me nightmares now? I have done nothing to you, Richard Maddock. You have met Morpheus, and the father of my son. You know nothing about me. Right. It is too late to let any of that concern you now. Your work spans so many genres, so many worlds. Where does all that come from? <laughs> uh, could write an entire novel set at a book reading. <laughs> But the audience was safe, as long as the author kept reading. <laughs> to destroy an author, they sacrifice a child and perform a critical mass. For a city where the streets are paved with time. Goldfish. <laughs> Who transforms into a wolf at full moon. Two old women taking a weasel on holiday. <laughs> it's gonna get you. Old man who owned the universe and kept it in a jam jar. So many ideas. I, did, I didn't have a pen or, or any paper, so I, I just used my hand. I needed the ideas, but they, 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 they're coming too fast. There's a woman in a room upstairs. Tell her that she can go, that I free her. I signed a book for you once, didn't I? Okay, I'll go. Speak it, stop. Uh, black, rubber, dog collar. Oh, you wanted ideas. She doesn't need somebody to open up the door. She just needed him to say, I set you free. Thank you. I merely answered your call. I think what I must do is to never happens to anyone else ever again. By inspiring humanity to want better for themselves and each other. I think the laws by which I was held, laws that were written long ago in which my sisters and I had no say. In yeah. the old days, you would have left me here to rot without turning a hair. Do you still hate me for leaving you? I have learned much in recent times and i do not hate you i think you should release the mortal now he has set me free and without forgiveness wounds will never heal i must forgive the man not for him for me if that is what you wish how are you feeling i uh, i don't know anymore shape of forms i wish i could remember it's uh. so hard to think all of a sudden the idea is that Stories. They were all us. Who? I have no idea. No idea. May I visit you in the dream realm sometime? May I finally talk about our son? One day. Perhaps, but. I understand. Thank you, Moneros. Moneros, he has my name. Goodbye, Kyle. She's gonna walk down the street in her Greek outfit. <laughs> oh well. This was a pretty good.
good um bonus content. Very, very interesting. What was the cat's name? Um kinda confused. <laughs> so the cat story in the beginning has to let me shut up. I know you guys are gonna comment down below and let me know about everything of this episode. This episode was a very good. Um you guys know it on this channel, that's all I ever say. Very good. Um it was very, you know, mankind. Every time I see a show that deals with mankind and like immortals or mankind and something else, animals or planets or something, mankind always proves that we're trash. Um, <laughs> let that lady go. You know, honestly, I would love to know what you guys would do if somebody, you know, had the power to pretty much give you whatever. Um, would you hold them captive? I know I wouldn't. No, no, no. Never say never. But, I, you know, I really don't see that in, for me and my personality and my, how I was raised to do something like that. I don't understand, like, how, and, you know, there are people that would have done that. I don't know. Overall, though, this was, I feel like this bonus content definitely was uh, underlining teaching us something as humanity, teaching us something as humans, um, how to really treat each other, and that karma is really a B-I-T. You finish the letters. Um, so, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was also really good to see Rory from Doctor Who, and I think that guy was the master, also from Doctor Who. Um, so that was also very interesting. If I'm wrong about that, he looks very similar to that guy. Um, the acting, once again, was very good. I was kind of nervous in the beginning because I don't like animation. Not that I don't like it. I just can't really get into it that much. But that one was very good. The kitten story, I almost started crying. Um, overall, just an amazing bonus content. Loved it. Enjoyed it. I want more. With that being said, guys, if you see this reaction, realize you are not subscribed. Hit subscribe button, so please like and share this content because it does wonders for this channel. And I'll see you all next time on Andres Elfrey.